Hey, this is a Stetson Fedora style hat. It's a Shantang uh, fabric, and I've had it for many, many years. And I'll share with you some tips on how to keep it, uh, keep it in shape. Because after a year or two, it sort of, sort of gets floppy and loses its shape. And there's some things you can do to bring it back to life and continue to wear it. Otherwise, it would become uh, odd looking. And so I'll show, you, I'll show you some of the tips right now. So what I do is uh, I spray the entire hat with this uh, heavy starch. And uh, I put some paper down to protect my stove. And you have to do this uh, several times during the year. You know, you'll, you'll notice when it starts getting floppy. And I just go ahead and soak the entire hat with starch. I'm not sure if you can use too much. I haven't found that yet. And uh, I'll let it sit in there a little bit and I'll use a, a napkin to kind of just wipe off the excess here. Where it pools up. And the first thing I'm going to do is do iron the brim. And so I've got this uh, cloth I'll lay down. What I use is to, to iron is this little uh, miniature iron here. You can get these for about $9. It's got a Teflon coating on, on the bottom here. And this is for uh, using, I think they use it mostly for model airplanes to put on the uh, fabric. Anyway, that's, that's what I used it for. But it's also a very uh, handy size for uh, working with a hat. Because you can work on the brim, you can work on the inside, you can work on the outside. And I'll, I'll show you all that. This helps the brim stay in shape. And what you want to do uh, is let it cool down before you before you move it. Once you get it flattened to your uh, to your satisfaction, you want to let it cool down before you. You start altering it. And I like my brims to be kind of flat. I have to wear some kind of protection uh, from the sun and uh, I can't afford to lose any IQ points by wearing a baseball cap so I have to wear something like a fedora or a cowboy hat or something like that. So I just choose to wear these. This one's lasted a pretty long time. I don't know how many years, maybe five or six. I've had it a long time. So I'm gonna let that cool a minute. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is work on the, uh, the side here. And the way I do that, I'll just bring this over. And also, I'm also gonna spray inside. Not, um, not on the uh, headband, but down inside there, just a little bit. Then you can take the hat and put it on its side here and just iron it. And this helps helps restore the rigidity of the hat, gives it back its shape. And I've only, I only do this with the, uh, these straw hats. The, uh, in the winter I wear a wool hat, fedora hats, and um, they don't really lose their shape like this one does. I believe this one's made out of some sort of paper that's woven to imitate straw. I think they call it Shan Tang or Shung Tang. I think it was developed when there was a shortage of uh, straw or paper. They, they went with this and they, they found out it actually is a, a very lightweight. It is very lightweight and uh, I don't think it holds its shape quite as well as a straw hat does. It's a little softer actually. It's a lot softer in my opinion. 
That's why it really benefits from having some uh, attention to uh, to the hat with some some uh, some starch. So over there, I just let the the hat cool off a little bit. And the top of the hat's still in pretty good shape. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll have to go in here and, and smooth this out. I think I will actually on this one since I've got it already got I've already got starch on it, so I might as well do something with that. So I'll take a, a towel here and put it inside the hat. And you can kind of hear the starch sizzle a little bit. And now I'll just let that cool. Let it stay like that. That's that's pretty much how I'd like it to be. So there you go. There's a there's how that's just how you can keep your uh, straw fedora hat in shape with a of one of these small irons here. This is from Hobbyco. It's just, it's called the Hobbyco Custom Sealing Iron. I think they're about nine bucks. Pretty simple thing. And then I, I use heavy starch. A little bit goes a long way, I believe. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for uh, also clicking the like and share.